You say confidence, I say chutzpah or, 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 or hubris, because I, I think at this point, it, that's the only thing he has going for him. Yeah, absolutely. New York Magazine actually ran an excellent piece where before Gawker had released the whole crack gate, I guess, if you will, they came up with 21 things we should know about Rob Ford. So Rob Ford, before the crack scandal, had 21 things that were worth talking about in a New York Magazine article that were controversial. <laughs> akin to claiming that your favorite movie is Citizen Kane when in actuality it's yeah. Weekend at Bernie's. Absolutely, but I just don't know specifically what they could do. You know, these ineffective policies on North Korea go back to Clinton Bush, right? I don't think this is, uh, has anything to do with Canada-wide. I think this has to do with, with Toronto and specifically with, with what we colloquially refer to here as Ford Nation, which is uh, Mayor Rob Ford's basic, you know, dire support that just doesn't seem to waver no matter what the scandal is. Well, what's interesting is that actually smoking crack cocaine isn't where the crime would be laid. The charges would be laid in terms of possession. I have to disagree with John um, right off the bat and say that I, I would not say that our, our court system is, is a Christian system. It is a secular system. And I think that's a decision that no secular court should have to enforce in a country where we have the right of religious freedom. There are no criminal charges against him. Everything is exactly that. It's an allegation. Um, and the only way you can really get him to, to step down or out him, I think, is if he misses three consecutive council meetings. I would call it selective secularism in that they are targeting minority religions, and that is what I'm calling intolerant here. I don't know. I don't know why we can't have more women, but I think at this point, Stephen Harper, whether or not it's a woman or a man, um, saying the same old PMO talking point, I don't think makes much of a difference. I think what we need to see from the Conservative Party and Stephen Harper and the PMO in particular is kind of a shift in policy. They need to take on a more active role in terms of accountability and in terms of the environment. Only then will the public really perceive them as, as making a shift. He's calling on, on search engines like Google and Yahoo to sort of filter out keywords, which Google already does. Then you're talking about, is this actually working? What is it intended for? I like Honestly, I just don't think David Cameron really understands the yeah. internet and how it works. Your guess is as good as mine, I suppose, at this point. What's really interesting, though, is that the Fords come from a lot of wealth. So he's not even a regular guy, aside from being mayor, growing up very privileged. I, it boggles everybody's mind how he manages to come off as an average Joe. As well as saying that he's never heard of any respectable lady ever being raped in India. So it's clear that this lawyer will say just about anything to, you know, get his 15 minutes. And how can anybody realistically get anything done when the mayor just admitted to smoking crack cocaine?